To perform a transaction, you can either press F6 on your keyboard or go to File, New Sale. Once the transaction screen comes up, if you use barcodes or scan codes, you can go ahead and scan the item and all the information will just fill in by itself. If you don't use scan codes, um, and depending on how your settings are set up, you can have it so that uh, you automatically go to the title screen or you may have to press Add Line or F4. In this screen, you can either type in the first few letters of the title or double click in the title section and then search for the title. Um, and if you have the Find Title screen come up, you can click on a item here and a picture will show in the right hand side. So let's say I want to sell a limited edition item, this one right here. I'm just going to double click and I'm going to press Tab. Now this is a limited edition item, so it's going to ask me which edition I would like to sell. Uh, let's say I'm going to sell this number 5 here. And if you would like to add some more items, you can just press Add Line or F4. Now you'll notice here that I have the titles one checked. If you have the item screen, then when you double click on the title field, then the item find screen will come up instead. So I'm going to add one more, and then I'm going to double click here, and I'm also going to sell a the mermaid. And I'm going to press tab. Pressing tab afterwards is important because that's when all the information locks into place. And I also keep in mind here that I have my tax type set at local. You want to do that before you make the transaction. If there's no tax, then you want to change that to tax free or out of state tax or whatever. If you make a mistake and you need to delete a line, then you can just press delete line. And then you can also add another line by going by pressing that button here. Uh, if the item is not in your inventory, then you'll want to do a quick F3. Uh, I will discuss that in another video, though. Once you've chosen all your items that you're going to sell, the next tab is the Client tab. If it's a new client, just click on New Client and then start typing in the person's name. Don't have to capitalize, the program will capitalize for you. Uh, it's got a nice little zip code feature. It saves you a second or two if you know the zip code to fill in the city or the state. Depending on how your settings are set, if you have the auto lookup checked, then if the contact is in your database already and you type in the first few letters, it will automatically fill it in and press tab and it will fill in all the spaces for you. You don't have to have you, you don't have to include client information though. Um, you can skip right over that and go to the payments tab or you can actually do the transaction and go back in and fill in the client information later. Off to the Payments tab. On the payment screen, this is where you'll put in how the customer is paying you. Let's say this customer is giving you a thousand dollars in cash, is going to put another thousand on a Visa card, and if you have a credit card reader, here is where you'll swipe the card and all the information will fill in. And he's going to put the rest on layaway. And as you can see, I'm pressing C for cash, V for visa, or you can just double click in the payment type and pick the payment type. Uh, if you pick layaway or install, a calculator will pop up. And then you can tell it uh, how they're paying monthly, bi weekly, weekly and how many payments. And just say calculate and it'll tell you how much they owe every month or every two weeks or whatever. Uh, and you can also change it if you would like to. And then when you're done, just press done. After you're done putting in the payment methods, just hit save. And from here you can print a receipt, ticket, chip and pay, certificate of authentication. Um, and then before you print, you can have the screen prompt you of what printer you're going to. If you already if you only have one printer, then you probably want to leave that unchecked. But let's print out a receipt, ticket, and certificate of authentication to see what they look like. Instead of clicking print, I'm actually going to click on preview here so we can take a look. Uh, this is how the receipt could look like, uh, depending on how you customize your receipt. It also prints out the little ticket printers if you have a, I mean, a ticket receipts if you have a ticket printer. Um, to even see this ticket, though, you may need the drivers installed. Otherwise, you might get an error if you preview it. 
without the drivers installed. Uh, it also print out a certificate of authentication that you can print out. Um, these are also customizable, so you might want to take out gallery representative um, and put in something else, or maybe put in your logo. So from there, your transaction is finished, or you can enter in some additional information. If you click on the Notes tab here, you can enter in some notes about the contact, uh, such as they're interested in a certain piece in your inventory. Um, maybe they like to receive a newsletter. Anything that you put in here is searchable, so you can uh, produce a list later. Uh, shipping notes, uh, ship FedEx, ship overnight, leave with neighbor. Uh, transaction notes, um, have the artist signed before sending. Um, and then from here you can click on staff if your gallery does commissions. Um, you can split up the commissions by putting in the different staff members. Just make sure that they add up to 100%. And that's it. That's how you do a transaction.